Hey guys, I got these two knives out with me in the woods today because I wanted to test the robust. I worked pretty much uh, enough with this one to know what it can do, but I've never really tested it for penetration in wood against a blade that wasn't, or that was similar shape, but a bit different. This one's 1.2 millimeters thicker. They took the edge up a bit more, but the angle is a bit bigger on this one, about 13 degrees per side. This one is about 11 degrees per side. From what I calculated, this one was 10.8 and this one was 12.8. So what I did last night, I sharpened them up on my water stone, put them on a 1000 grit, got rid of uh, all the chips that were on my companion, put a nice edge on this one um, because the initial edge was a bit wavy. So then I took my 3000 grit stone and polished them up and on my 3000 grit stone I put a micro bevel on them. I tried to keep the angle the same for both knives. That meant I had to raise this one a bit more. And then I stropped them. I checked to see the resistance they put up on a piece of paper. And I did some slight adjustments. Then I stropped again and I checked again and I believe I kind of got them in the same place. I hope won't be able to tell much but I said why not give them the same chance at least the same micro chance we'll see how they fare it's a piece of green hazel it's fresh I cut it off just to test my more knives and I'm really curious to see how they do in power cuts this one's pretty comfortable, but I'm just curious to see how this one does. So I moved it a bit out of the way, and I'm just going to see. Say one per knife should be enough. <laughs> I wish I could find the uh, other chip, yes, I can. This is the chip from the Robust, and you can see it split it up pretty nicely. This is the one from the Clipper, not so much. So, actually, the one from the there both pretty much the same size but the robust slid in easier because the extra thickness actually parted the fibers and I don't know if, it, if you could see it on video I could feel it in my hand that's pretty interesting I think That one just parts the wood. But the initial resistance is bigger with this one, of course, because there's more material there to rub up against the wood. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really expect it. I, although it was very, very logical.
the wood's a bit drier towards the tip. It's actually really dry. And in this case, this one's much easier to work with. I really don't feel any discomfort with this one and this one's not a great improvement since there's no discomfort in this one um, but I do feel more secure with this grip I feel more much more secure with this grip This one does glide in better to wood, but in this position, I can really feel the grip filling my hand much more. So yeah, bigger grip, much better. chest lever grip, uh, personally I don't feel a difference. I can feel the uh, knife sliding in a bit with a bit more difficulty, but this one I would say is just as comfortable as that one. However, in the fore grip, the hammer grip, this one feels a bit more secure in hand. Uh, now that I have this comparison, I can feel like this one's not really hand filling, but it is. My initial question was, would the extra grip um, kind of balance the fact that the edge is uh, sharpened at a steeper angle? It doesn't. This one you can still feel it glide better into wood. <laughs> However, this one is more hand filling and it feels more like a knife. What you can do for this one is uh, probably change the angle on the edge. And then you'll have the same as this one. It's not a lot. I would say, oh, six degrees in total. But you do feel the difference. What I did notice in this one, when I tested my clipper, my classic number two, and the companion, uh, this one, the stainless steel, does glide better through wood. It may be that the structure's finer and just does that. I could feel the same difference when I tested um, my trappers. My trapper and VS1 Walker's trapper. I could feel that D2 slid easier through the wood.
Uh, <laughs> yeah, this one uh, performs easier. Much easier. And you can see the wood is kind of dry here. So, I went from green wood testing to dry wood testing without even uh, <laughs> not realizing it, but uh, yeah. Well, like I said, hammer grip, this one feels more secure. And the chest lever grip, I tend to go with this one. So the difference is not that big. <laughs> well, I would have expected it to be a bit, a bit more, to stand out a bit more, the grip, the handle. For me, Personally, so far it doesn't. We'll see. Just for fun, I took out my SE and wanted to see how it does on the same wood. Um, this one has about a 25 degree per side edge. And <laughs> if you're gonna compare it slicing with a Mora, it's funny. <laughs> That's where it stops. <laughs> Let me try a bit towards the back. <laughs> Much more effort. And I'm not even talking about comfort in hand. <laughs> really. Um, let me just put it back in the sheath. <laughs> Two. So. You can get through this in two cuts with a Mora, it'll probably take you a bit more with this one, with this edge. Let's see. Oh, this one was pretty good. <sighs> Almost. <laughs> yeah, that was my fault. I should have cut the other side. Anyway, unrelated to Mora against Mora. <laughs> um, just for curiosity. <laughs>